divisions, 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 ladies and gentlemen. You know, when men that are supposed to be brothers are so divided, it's just, uh, I don't know. I'll just have to let you see for yourself. Trump lashes out during combative press conference. And this is November 7th, 2018. In an extraordinary combative news conference Wednesday after voters delivered him a rebuke by giving control of the House to Democrats, Trump went after Republicans, Democrats, and the media. He mocked Republican candidates who distanced themselves from him and chided a reporter for asking a racist question and walked away from the lectern at one point. Mm, yeah, he did step away from that podium for a brief second, you know, almost like he wanted to go down there and kick some ass, but he didn't. Trump said if Democrats try to use their majority to issue subpoenas, it would be warlike posture. He said, that he could work with Democrats on issues such as infrastructure and healthcare, but if they conducted investigations into his administration, then we're going to do the same thing. Then government comes to a halt and I blame them. So in other words, shutting down the government is gonna be his revenge if Democrats try to pursue an investigation. Trump suggested he will use the Senate to conduct his investigation. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think it's gonna turn out the way you want, Trump. The president named checks several GOP candidates who lost Tuesday. He said that Rep. Mia Love of Utah gave me no love and she lost. Too bad. Sorry about that, Mia. He said Barbara Comstock, who lost her suburban Virginia district, didn't want to have any embrace. Trump said Tuesday results were very close to a complete victory, despite Republicans losing control of the House. The GOP did add to its majority in the Senate. Earlier Wednesday, he praised Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi while warning Democrats against investigating his administration. Why is this man in such a deep fear of being investigated? You see how many times he keeps bringing it up? Don't investigate me, okay? Don't do it. Don't investigate me. <laughs> of Pelosi, who with her party capturing the majority of seats Tuesday stand to become the next speaker of the House. Trump tweeted, that she deserves to be chosen Speaker of the House by Democrats and that she has earned this great honor and even suggests some Republicans could vote for her if Democrats give her a hard time. Actually, I think she's been Speaker for way too long. It, it, you need some fresh blood in there. You don't need the same old relic over and over. She needs to go somewhere and retire. At his news conference, Trump said, there was nothing sarcastic about his praise, saying she had fought long and hard. Some Democrats said during their campaigns that they would not back Pelosi, but it's not clear yet whether there are any Democrats willing to challenge her for the post. And it seems highly unlikely that any Republican will vote for a woman uh, their party has demonized in thousands of campaign ads. Trump show of support for Pelosi is not entirely out of character. Both are deal makers 
In 2007, Trump praised her as the best when she was first sworn in as speaker. He has yet to come up with a derogatory nickname for her, as he has with many of his other Democratic foes, although that could certainly change. For her part, Pelosi has said that without bipartisan support, Democrats are unlikely to pursue impeachment charges against the president, although that could uh, that too could change. Trump. Um, so he said he's considering uh, changes to his administration in the aftermath of the election, including to his cabinet. And we know Jeff uh, Sessions has already resigned. Shortly after the news conference ended, Trump tweeted that he had accepted the resignation of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who will he replace Sessions by Chief of Staff Matthew G. Whitaker. All right. So there's his tweet. Trump singled out Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for praise and reiterated that he was reviewing Interior Secretary um, Ryan Zemke job as well. Following numerous reports of ethical violations, Trump again denounced Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into ties between Trump's 2016 campaign and the Russian government claiming he could have shut it down. Trump said he could fire everybody right now, but I don't want to stop it because politically I don't like stopping it. Trump called the investigation a disgrace, saying it should have uh, been, it should have never been started because there is no crime. Okay, so Trump and a CNN, Jim Acosta kind of got into it. And Trump told him he was a rude person and the exchange got pretty heated. I got part of that exchange that I'm gonna let you see. Posture. And yeah, so then, the, wait a minute, then the follow-up, I'm you sorry, heard, John. You heard my answer, go well, ahead. Well, since it's Jim, I'll let it go. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to challenge you on, on one of the statements that you made in the tail end of the campaign. Uh, in, in the midterms. That here, this, here we go. That, well, if Let's you don't go. mind, Let's Mr. Go. President, Come on. that this caravan was an invasion. As you know, I, Mr. President, I consider it to be an as invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's, a, it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. I why, it. Why, did you, why did you characterize it as such? Uh, because I consider it an invasion. You and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think that you demonized immigrants in not this election no, to try I to want keep them, I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to come in, Jim, through a process. I want it to be a process. And I want people to come in, and we need right. the people. Your you know, campaign, wait, your campaign. Wait, wait, you know why we need the people, don't you? Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. Right. But your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so that's on. Well, it, it, but They it, weren't it, actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. Well, no, it's true. Do you think they were actors? They weren't actors. They didn't come from Hollywood. Right. These were these were people. This was an actual, you know, it happened a few days ago, and uh, they're hundreds of miles away. Though they're hundreds and hundreds of miles away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, would be ask, much better. Let me ask. If I may okay, ask one enough. other question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may right, ask one other ahead. question, are you worried? Of, that's enough. That's Mr. enough. Mr. President, I, well, that's I was enough. Going to ask one of the, the other folks. That's had, enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, Mr. Excuse President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question. If I may ask on on the Russia investigation, are you concerned that? That you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, That's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. 
Go ahead. I, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. And the way you treat other people are horrible. You shouldn't yeah. treat people that way. Go yeah. ahead. In, in, go in ahead, Jim, Peter. Go in, ahead. In Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm not a big fan us. of yours either. So I you understand. Know, to be honest. So, with let me, so let me ask you a question, if I can. You repeatedly you said are, you are the best, Mr. President. You repeatedly over the course okay, of. Okay, just sit down, please. Well, when you when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead, Mr. President. Over the course over the course of the last several days of the campaign, sir. Sir, at the end of the campaign, you repeatedly said that Americans need to fear Democrats. You said Democrats would unleash a wave of violent crime that endangers families.